So today on Wonderful Wigs, I'm going to be discussing my wig journey. How I went from wearing wigs mostly as a costume accessory into wearing them pretty much every day. I mean, I do take some breaks in between, but I'm a pretty consistent wig wearer. I coordinate my wigs to my outfits and to the event that I might be going to. You know, a conservative wig will work much better in certain art crowds than an art wig. And um, I'll just take you on a short wig journey from the first days when I hosted these James Bond parties and I went as a James Bond character to uh, just everyday wear now with some fabulous wigs. So this one is by Motown Tress. It was one I wore for a James Bond theme party uh, during the pandemic when things started to open up but people were still a little bit um, afraid to go out. We had about 20 or 30 people for a dinner, a black tie dinner. Everyone was dressed up in the theme of James Bond. So this is LS137.Pure by Motown Tress. It has a 13 by 7 fake scalp, which at the time I bought it, I thought that was just the best thing ever because it really does look like a fake scalp uh, underneath. The only problem is my scalp is not as brown, but the lace is a very good lace um the hair well you know it is synthetic and it's long so after a while it was tangling like crazy uh since then i've cut it a little bit and i think i'm gonna do that boiling trick i told you about um because i do like it as a wig i just it's too tangly and now i combed it out you can see it's much shorter than on the stock card but it's still relatively long and it 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 looks good i mean this is not glued down at all you could just put it on your head and go and I really I loved it for the party and I love it in general just to go around uh, when the time is appropriate. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the other uh, two wigs that were pretty much what I bought when I first started this wig journey. I think like I said, it's good to spend a little bit when you begin to sort of experiment on this stuff. I happen to experiment <laughs> in all the wrong ways but you know, uh, cutting baby hairs for example on a lace front is not necessary at all especially if it's synthetic but um you know things like using the flat iron or the hot comb on a synthetic at a too high setting and making the hair too straight i've done that so it's good to have the lesser expensive wigs so you can go through these uh little lessons without wasting too much money anyways on to the next wig So this was one of the early wigs I bought after the success of that LS Pure. I thought I would try another one and I kind of messed up the edges with these uh, short baby hairs. They were long, then I cut them shorter, then I cut them shorter. But again, this is a lace front. There's nothing you could do with baby hairs to save this, I don't think. Anyways, it's Let's Lace Wig by Motown Tress. It has a spin part, LDP-Spin62. And I mean, I don't know about these spin wigs in general. I think it's it especially if the part is set in the wig, it really only looks one way in my experience. I mean, the stock card looks good. It, it is able to spin on her head. I don't think in no matter how I spun this wig, it didn't really look good. However, I put a picture in the video to show you how I styled it once or twice and it really did look good at that time. But yes, this is one of those casualties. And I think if I'd left it, it would have been a beautiful wig, but either way, as a synthetic, it's quite difficult to comb through right now. Um, it's quite tangly, easily tangled, but um, it feels good and it's very thick. It's a full cap. And I mean, if your thing is spinning, then by all means, this is probably a good wig. But um, like I said, it was one of the first that I ever bought to try these baby hairs and stuff out on. And uh, I regret damaging it because it was quite beautiful outside of wanting to change its basic characteristics, which is not to have any baby hairs. Anyways, on to the next one. So this is the third wig that I got uh, when I first started this uh, wig journey. And this one's actually a human hair blend. And you know, I should have known that because it really is much easier to comb through than all the just pure synthetics. So this is Miss Origin by Bobby Boss, designer mix, uh, MOGLWJB24, J-Body24, and it's color THL1B30. 
and I still like this wig from time to time to just wear it at home. Again, none of these wigs were stuck down with any sort of spray or anything. Um, this is not stuck down either and I think it's a full cap, just the lace front. But it's very easy wig, you know, again, not complicated at all, covers the edges so you don't have to really think about it. The parting space doesn't go way back and I think at that time again I was using, um, I was using foundation to color the parting space. Now I wouldn't do that because it doesn't really look for me realistic. But, um, but at the time it looked good. Here's the back of the wig. Again, it combs through really, really easily. And it's easy to wear. Again, you just put this on and hang out, go out, do some basic errands, and it's, 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 it's a good wig. So, anyways, I have not much more to say about it. But, um, again, you don't need to do any of that baby hair stuff. And it has some clips underneath, some um, combs that you can hold in your hair but I don't really use those I know a lot of people take those out as well when they do glue it down but it is a little measure of security when you're going out if you want to just stick it in your hair the other side of sticking it into your hair is that sometimes if the wig is heavy and it pulls it back it's gonna eventually make a ball spot where you're sticking that comb into your hair so I mean all of these wigs are in general protective styles like your hair is generally protected underneath but sometimes if you have to yank out all the adhesives or stuff it can pull your uh hair along your own hairline out and i've seen that for myself uh in this wig journey but um in general if you're kind and you you don't pull the hairs out you use whatever um each glue comes with something solvent that takes it out supposedly but it's still a big mess as far as i'm concerned that's why i rarely use glue i mean from time to time i will um, and I'm very careful how I use it and I use it very sparingly but sometimes you just need something a little bit stronger than the hairspray to hold it down and another day I will discuss that when I do use some glue which I have like two or three different brands I just don't use them like I said very often okay so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this episode of wonderful wigs and I'll be back again soon have a great week Please do like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Once we get up to over a thousand subscribers, I will be taking you live on some of these journeys to see some of the places we go, some of the parties, some of the people we meet. So by all means, subscribe away and see you soon on another episode of Wonderful Ways.